Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm going to show you how to put a channel name under your face cam or a face cam border. And we're doing this on mobile. And as you know, I'm going to do this on Kind Master because that's my preferred app. And keep in mind, this is not a face cam tutorial. So basically, we're going to start off if you already have a gaming and face cam clip together or on two clips like I have. And just quickly, today's notification shout out was supposed to go to Super Danger. He was first, but he's giving a shout out to the second person, which was D-Jack. Thank you so much for being second on yesterday's video and shout out to you. And the everyday fan shout out goes to Scarlet's Creations. Thank you so much for being here every day, watching my videos and commenting and shout out to you. And to do this the easy way, you have to take a picture of any dark color. For this, in this case, I'm just gonna take a picture of my green screen. Or, of course, you could take it from the internet, that's obvious. So, of course, we open KindMaster. And for this, I suggest you make a preset so in every single video, when you're doing the same thing, you don't have to do the steps all over again. So that is what we're gonna do right now. First, you click Create Project, 16 to 9. Now you click Media. You can click Photo. And now I'll take the green screen picture that you took, or any dark color. I'm gonna choose this green screen picture. Click the check mark. Then click adjustment, and over here where it says hue, you can adjust it to different color. Obviously we want bright green in this case. There you go, check mark. Now we go to layer, and then click media. And guess what, we're gonna choose the same thing again, which is the green screen photo, or whatever you have. And then click check mark, make it the same length as the other clip. Now click adjustment, go to hue, and then adjust it till it's actually blue. For example, like this. This picture is not that smooth, but if you get it from the internet, it's probably better. But that's okay, this is only for the purpose of this video. Then we click the check mark. Now we mark the second layer. We go where it says cropping. And now adjust it to the proper size of the face cam. Let's say like this. Then click check mark. Then move this, for example, to the left side. Because that's where your face cam will be, for example. Then click check mark. Then click layer. Now you click text, and then type your channel name. When you're done, click check mark, and then there it is. Obviously you can make it smaller or bigger, and obviously move it to the pop proper place. And every layer can click and adjust, obviously. Now of course you can change the font. So now I'm gonna choose this font, then click check mark. We could even change the color of the text. So now let's say we're gonna make the text red. Now we scroll a little bit down over here, and click outline. And now this is awesome because we can choose the color of the outline. So we click enable. Now that is in dark color. But now we're gonna make it yellow. And now you can adjust how thick you want the outline to be. And then when you feel comfortable with the outline, just click that check mark. Now you click check mark. And now you export the clip. So you click export. And don't worry about the face cam. We're gonna put the face cam on in a second. This way you're gonna always have this preset. This is kind of like a video, so it's going to have length to it. So basically on iPhone, you can actually do this. Close the Kind Master. You go to Photos. Now click this thing where you want to play the video. Pause it. Click the screen once. And now screenshot the picture. And you see, it now this is not a video anymore. This is just a picture. Which means you can stretch it to any length. And of course, you could save it to Photos. Now, of course, you go back to Kind Master. And we're going to put it on your video. So we open new project, 16 to 9, of course. Go to media, then choose the background clip first. Let's say a gaming clip, then click check mark. Now we go to layer, then click on media, and then choose the face cam clip. Now we're gonna select all. So right here we have the face cam clip. This is on green screen, of course. So we move it to the proper spot, let's say here. Now click chroma key, and you have, if you have face cam that already has background, then that's fine. So click chroma key, then click enable, say for example like this. Obviously adjust the chroma key. This is not perfect, I just want to give you a general idea. And I click check mark by the way. Now click layer again, click media, click photo, and get the photo that you screenshot before. You can even click screenshots. And here we go. So we have this right here. We can obviously resize it approximately check where it's supposed to be. And of course, since this is a green screen, you could click chroma key. And there you go. So now you have this preset that you can put on any video. And there's your face cam with channel name. 
If you want to have a border around your face cam, you can do that too. It's very easy. So commit to make like a border around, click media, click all. Then you can click the green screen picture, then click check mark. Then you click layer, click media, then click photo for example, click all. Then we get this blue background. Then we can click crop, then crop in how large you think the face cam is going to be. Click check mark, then mark the clip, move it to the side for example. Then click layer again, then click media. We can actually choose the same clip, the blue screen, because we're going to change the color. Then we click adjustment, and then we go to hue. We're going to make it green. You see? Just like that. And we're going to put it on top right here on top of the blue frame. Obviously, we're going to crop it. We're going to leave it kind of thick on the bottom So we're, since we're going to put the channel name a little later. And there you go. So now you export it again. Then same thing, close the kind master. Let this place since it's a video, pause it, then screenshot it. So now let's put the frame on the screen. Open project, 16 to 9. Then you click media. We choose the game clip, then click layer, then media. Then choose the video of the frame. We're going to do it like this, for example. Then click check mark. Then mark the frame picture. Then click chroma key. Then enable. And then you can put the face cam and stuff like that. Obviously, this is a bigger size than normal. This is just to show you. And if you wanted the text on the frame, you already know what steps to take. If you want to learn how to make some other cool effects on KindMaster, make sure to click this playlist. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to become part of the GTX squad, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.